guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Moonshine Manny Use the Schwartz collection. This is a quartet of polishes inspired by the film Spaceballs. So if you guys have been with me on Swatch Fest, I've been talking about the April polish pickup which has the theme across the universe and for April I decided to choose the film Spaceballs and I created a polish called Ludicrous Speed. Well, I had so much fun creating that polish and thinking up different ideas that I decided to make four more polishes also inspired by the film. So today we're going to be looking at those and they look like this. We have a cream with multi-chrome shimmer, we have a light and neutral with a lot of flakies in there, we have a blue and green glitter, and then we have a watermelon multi-chrome there on the bottom. This collection will be up on my website for sale on the 13th, April 13th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that means 6 a.m. on my side of the country, 9 a.m. over on the East Coast. Okay, so Spaceballs. You guys know what the film Spaceballs is. It's a satire, kind of farce comedy, making fun of the whole Star Wars and Star Trek phenomenon. This is a Mel Brooks film. Some other Mel Brooks films are, I think it's called History of the World, Blazing Saddles. There's one called High Anxiety. I haven't seen a whole lot of his films, but this one is one that I watched a lot when I was a kid. I didn't know until I was an adult and watched a, like a full version of this film that my dad had actually edited the movie a lot. But a lot of the main laughs that I still love to this day are still in the film. He just took out a lot of the language and stuff because... He just didn't want his small kids watching it. But it's a very funny film, just constantly poking fun at the whole Star Wars idea. And so I have four polishes for you in addition to Ludicrous Speed. I hope that if you were interested in Ludicrous Speed that you were able to go purchase it at polishpickup.com. The window for purchasing that polish is unfortunately over, but I tried to give you a lot of notice about it so that you could get it if you wanted to. So as for these polishes, you can find them at moonshinemanny.com. It's up here. It'll also be in the description bar below where I always link all important information. The polishes on my website retail for $11 a piece and there's a discount if you get all of these together. Also don't forget I have flat rate shipping for US it's $3, Canada it's $12 and everywhere else it's $18. And don't forget there's always a banner at the top of my website if you spend over $50 you can use that code to get 10% off your order as well. So you guys let's get to swatching. I think we're going to start with this watermelon multi-chrome. So um, I've been having a lot of fun with multi-chromes this year, as you guys know, uh, they're a favorite of mine. I really, really enjoy them. Now, if you remember last year in the Thor Ragnarok collection, I created kind of an interestingly different multi-chrome that you guys actually seem to really like, and I'm glad because I like different things. I like to create polishes that you maybe haven't seen a ton of before. So I have made kind of a funky multi-chrome again, and I named it Welcome to Real Life. This multi-chrome shifts between kind of like watermelon colors. We've got this beautiful rich green here, and then it's gonna be going to a pink, but you're also along the way gonna be seeing orange, and you're gonna see gold, and you're gonna see blue and purple. There's a lot going on in here, um, but the primary shades are green to pink. Inside this polish, I've also put some shifty flakies. They shift from orange to gold to green. They're the crystal flakies that are kind of like, um, like mermaid scale flakies, where they're kind of iridescent and you can see through them. They can build up things like that. I wanted it to be incredibly shifty, so I put a lot of pigment in, and that makes it so the opacity um, is pretty strong so you're gonna need maybe two coats and by the way this polish welcome to real life I named it that because one of my favorite parts in the film is when the Han Solo type character his name is Lone Star he um, he picks up the Princess Leia type character her name is Princess Vespa and he picks her up and he's like telling her how it's gonna go on his ship and she can't just be like a princess and be waited on and everything and he's telling her, he says, welcome to real life and I just thought it was a fun name for this polish because it's just so interesting like colors that you really don't see that often together and so it's kind of a play off of that because it's welcome to real life but not really because you're in a different kind of you're in a different kind of world with this polish. It's definitely otherworldly. So. That's the first one. The next polish in the collection, I wanted to create a very light, kind of opalescent, flaky polish in a neutral. So I do have a whole collection of those kind of polishes, these 
very delicate crelly polishes with heavy flaky components and that's the Supremely Spring Collection but I hadn't done a neutral so this is a light kind of tan caramel shade. This polish is a crelly meaning it is sheer but there's still pigment there. Basically meaning that you're going to want to build it up but it's sheer enough so that you can see the components. So the different components that I put in this polish, it has those orange to gold to green. There's actually pink in those as well so it's like pink, orange, gold, green. And those flakies, they are really strong. I put a lot of them in here. I really wanted um, it to be a high flaky impact on the nail and give you a lot of different coloration as you turn your hand. And I also put multi-chrome flakies in there. So there's iridescent flakies and multi-chrome flakies. And multi-chrome are the ones that you can't see through. They're like a multi-chrome polish, but hardened down and then in a flaky form. So those flakies are going from like a red to a gold to a copper. So you're going to want two to three coats on this one. By the way, you already saw because I was showing you up close on the bottle. But this is called 1-800 Druidia. And I decided to name this polish that because another favorite part in the film is when Princess Vespa, she's running away from home and she gets scared so she decides to call home. And the phone number that she uses to call her dad is 1-800-Druidia. Druidia is the name of her planet. Which is just so, so silly. That's the kind of humor it is. It's just really silly humor. So I thought that was funny and this is like um, the most neutral kind of earthy toned polish and so I thought it would be fun to name it that. So 1-800 Druidia, my photo is three coats. All the swatches that you're seeing for me today will be with Top Coat. I always recommend Top Coat for my brand. So yes, that's the second polish. The next polish in the collection is another multi-chrome, but this is a multi-chrome in a cream. This multi-chrome has the same shifty pigments that was in Ludicrous Speed. You're gonna see five or six colors in here depending on your light source but the primary colors are from a teal to a pink to a purple, but I'm also catching gold and green and orange. It's a very, very shifty pigment. Like I said, it's the same one that's in Ludicrous Speed. It's very shifty, lots of colors. So um, I have a couple polishes already on my website um, similar to this if you want something to compare it to. The other one that I did recently in the Christmas collection was called Got Myself for Secret Santa. It's essentially the same kind of formula that I did here with that polish. So I have a cream base and um, it differs from like a straight up multi-chrome polish like Welcome to Real Life because that one's basically like a jelly base. So you're able to see more of those pigments going through the multi-chrome pigments. And this one, even though the pigment is very, very strong because I added a ton in order to make a polish like this, you still do want your opaque cream base, but in order to see all that multi-chrome, you have to add a lot of it in there. So I wanted to give you a beautiful glow from all these multi-chrome um, colors, but still make it feel like you're wearing a cream polish. So I have it on today. So from like certain angles, it will feel like you're wearing a kind of demure gray shade, but <laughs> it doesn't actually take taking a closer look. It's pretty apparent this polish is just glowing teal to pink to purple and all those other colors that I said. So this polish, um, you're only going to really need two coats and top coat is highly recommended so you can see all that shifty shimmer. I named this polish Take Only What You Need to Survive. So <laughs> this is another Lone Star and Vespa moment where um, they end up having to abandon ship and they're lugging her, they're, you know, they're carrying her luggage across the desert. And they're going, what is in this luggage? It's so heavy. And they open it up and there's a giant hair dryer, blow dryer, like as big as a person pretty much. And he goes, what is this? And she goes, that's my industrial strength hair dryer and I can't live without it. And he's like, I told you, take only what you need to survive. It's very, very funny, very silly. Um, and I just felt like if you were going to take one polish out of this collection that you need to survive, I was thinking it would probably be this one because you can you can wear it in so many occasions. It can come off as just a everyday neutral, kind of, <laughs> but it does have all that beautiful shimmer. So if you're a true multi-chrome fanatic like myself, it'll give you that as well. So take only what you need to survive, two coats and top coat for my photo. And now we're to the last polish. This polish is the most bling-tastic polish probably that I've maybe ever created. Um, this is a very fancy polish. If you don't care for glitter, this won't be your cup of tea, but if you really, really love glitter, I think you're gonna love this. This is basically like a light periwinkle blue, but it has accents of 
uh, melon green and lots and lots of hollow. So I named this polish Good, You're Married, Kisser, and it's the very end of the movie um, when I don't want to spoil it for you, but two characters in the film get married and the, the priest is very frustrated at the goings on and finally when he gets them to like say they're going to get married and he's just like, good, you're married, kiss her, and it's just, it's very funny. <laughs> I feel like that's a common theme of this video. It's very funny, you guys. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. So, this, like I said, this has a lot, a lot of glitter in it. You're really probably only going to need two coats because the amount of glitter that comes out with each pass is so much. As you watch me swatch this, you'll see on the first coat, you know, it's obviously not full coverage. It's not meant to be. Um, and you can even see me doing a little bit of a dabbing motion. And basically what that is, with a heavily glittered polish, if you want to kind of place the glitters down with the flat end of your brush, and it will kind of dab it. It's similar to like a spongy method. And we'll dab the glitters where you want it to go. This polish is definitely going to benefit from a nice glitter food kind of top coat, maybe a couple of coats of top coat or use a glitter food because you really want to fill in all those gaps and make it look just beautifully bright and sparkly. And like I said, the glitter lover is really, really going to love this polish. I just was really digging the light um, green and blue together. It just felt so sweet, but it also felt like not really bridal, but very regal. So that's why I named it Good You're Married Kisser. And um, this could definitely be like a something blue polish at your wedding. It's just so fun. High, high, hollow, high sparkle content going on in this polish. So uh, my photo is two coats with top coat. I think I might have done a couple coats of top coat there, guys. So that is the whole collection. As always, whenever I'm talking to you guys about Moonshine Mania, I'm so excited because I've just been working so hard on these polishes and putting all my passion and just every single thought that I've had about it. I just pour it all into each of these polishes, so I'm so excited for you to try them. I really hope that you love them, you guys, and if you are Space Wolf fans out there, I hope that I did you proud. I know that there's a lot of other lines that I could have pulled from the film, but I've been trying to keep, for the most part, most of my collections on the smaller side because I have been enjoying releasing new things each month. So again, these are going to be on the website on April 13th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here's the website again for you if you'd like it. And I usually try to get as much shipped out that same day as I can. So you guys, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I'll see you back for the next video. Take care until then. Bye.